Hey, Stephen Young here at High Octane Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts. This is a 1970 Chevy C10 half-ton short bed fleet size. Beautiful piece, the best kind you want. This You know, in recent years, like the last five years or so, the Chevy 67 through 72 C-Series pickup trucks have caught on like wildfire at the auctions and in general. Now, the beauty of those trucks is that they were the first Chevrolet pickup trucks that really embraced the comfort of a passenger car with the utility of a truck. Previous Chevy pickups were more workmanlike, but again, for 67 through 72, they adopted much sleeker styling, but we can always improve on that. This is a 1970 Chevy C10 half-ton short bed fleet side. Beautiful piece, the best kind you want. The step sides aren't quite as desirable, but with that said, this one has been modified. Now, you sharp C-series C pickup truck spotters will notice this has a 67, 68 slant nose grille and no markers. Well, that's because this 1970 70 cab has been upgraded with reproduction fenders and this hood. All of these things are steel and they're readily available from the aftermarket. So that's a beautiful thing. So it's a 70 that has the look of a 67 uh, fender and hood setup. Uh, it does ride on big 18 and 20 inch uh, steel wheels, which are unichrome white to match the uh, white highlights on the, on the body. And uh, the front and rear bumpers have been shaved, which brings out the factory rolled pans here. And uh, it just gives it a really slick, cool look, kind of like something from a Tom Daniel Hot Wheels toy car brought to full life. Now under the hood is where the action is. And here, yes, we've got the LS Chevy small block with fast, big mouth throttle body right there, fast EFI computer and aluminum cylinder heads, which are some of the best flowing standard production heads in the business. Uh, it has pace setter ceramic coated headers versus the stock cast iron stuff. So it, it, it exhales even better than it would in stock trim, which is already pretty darn good. Uh, the aluminum cross flow radiator is an aftermarket item. It's massive and it'll certainly keep this small block engine nice and cool in a parade at the cruise or on the open road good stuff got a big uh, electric fan here a puller type fan to assure that airflow is uh, consistent even when sitting still chrome dual circuit master cylinder with a billet cover and again disc brakes up front big factory drums in the back and again continental name brand 18 and 20 inch uh, rubber band tires and the stance on this thing is so mean and low it looks like it's getting ready to pounce beautifully done uh, inside bucket seats yes that's right buckets not a bench like you would usually find and it has the CST or custom sports truck center console but best of all is what's in front of that console a six-speed T56 transmission right out of a Corvette and again, the beauty of that is double overdrive. So when you're out on the open road, you can shift it into fifth or sixth gear, chug along at 1500 RPM, saving gas and your hearing. <laughs> and meanwhile, the first gear on this is like something like 301, 21. So that's good, aggressive first gear for a hard launch off the line when the light turns green. Uh, the dash has been rendered with uh, nice color coordinated treatments there. The speedometer, all the gauges and stuff are factory, but again, they've been reimagined in a really cool way. Uh, tilt steering column which is a GM item right here so you can set up the steering wheel to uh, wherever it suits you best right there and uh, just a nice crisp look the brown complements the orange and white exterior now the bed as we know as we mentioned the step sides are nice but the style sides or fleet sides are way better the smooth ones here and this one has been smooth again the rear bumper is gone the, the rear balance has been rolled and something kind of cool is the tailgate has been molded and closed off now we all have to know that you know a truck like this is never going to see work you're not going to put a refrigerator in the back of this thing so it doesn't really matter but it gives us a very unique double take look at the back now in the bed it has the steel bed but with the wood floor 
applique, which is something you'd find on a step side pickup truck, but it goes right in there, looks good. Gas tank is underneath, here's the fuel filler right here, hiding kind of in plain sight. And again, a nice uh, creamsicle presentation on this, and yes, LED taillights right there. So again, a nice example of uh, a tastefully rendered uh, 67 through 72, uh, the Task Force, I believe these are called, Chevy pickup truck with some nice custom touches, nice low stance, 12 bolt rear axle, six speed manual Corvette tranny, LS, aluminum head, V8, lots of power. Now this vehicle can be purchased from a High Octane Classics with as little as 10% down. And remember too that High Octane Classics is located in Auburn, Massachusetts, but they'll ship this anywhere on the planet. So don't worry if you're not in Massachusetts, you can still buy it. And if you have something to trade in, whether it's a late model or a custom or another pickup truck, High and Classics will certainly listen and consider a, uh, a trade as a possibility. Another thing too is remember that High Tank Classics has been in business for about 15 years and they're always looking to buy new inventory. Whether it's one or 20 vehicles, High Tank Classics uh, might have an interest in purchasing your vehicle or vehicles. And if you're thinking about a change of career, High Tank Classics is always looking for, for solid sales and service personnel, either seasoned pros or beginners with a solid work ethic. If you want to learn more about selling your cars or maybe coming to work at High Tank Classics here in Auburn, Massachusetts. Give them a call at 508-859-4515 and learn more about this 1970 C10 pickup with a nice custom redo. Check it out on the High Octane Classics website.